Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be working on some trap beats, specifically on hi-hat patterns. Yesterday I did a how to build a kick drum from scratch using Massive, and you can check that out on the previous blog post. Today I want to focus on hi-hats, mainly because I was looking for information online and I saw a bunch of videos that were very useful, but I felt like I didn't have enough information so I wanted to provide what was missing and what I was looking for specifically was how to create more unique patterns in the trap 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 genre so the first thing that I find useful is to work with music first with and by when I say music I mean like a melody and like a harmonic track so I built this part It's a three bar phrase. I thought that would make it a little bit more unique. I'm looking for unique, always. And you should too. Anyways, so let's just create, a, let's just play a beat by ear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see what happens. I have my kick. Oops, I have my kick, and my snare. Let's make it happen. Okay, that should be plenty of information there. So I played a nine bar, I need nine bar pattern because my music is three bars. So I kind of played a pattern three times. And as you can see, for the most part, I had a snare on two and four. And I think that's very important in this genre. I'm going to go ahead and quantize this a little bit so that you know, so that we don't have any, I'm gonna, 30 second notes, boom, let's check it out. Okay, that sounds pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, notice how I started very sparse and I got a little bit, a lot busier. That way you can kind of hear the difference between, you know, leaving space and not. I think it's nice to have the contrast. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do with the hi-hats, it's I'm gonna think of in terms of patterns. Okay, I'm gonna focus on one, in one bar, on one bar, and just kind of loop that. And uh, what do I mean by patterns? So usually, what I've seen people do online is something like this. And there's no pattern there. That sounds good, that has a lot of energy, but that's gonna get old fast. Whereas if you fill in the spaces, like let's say that we have three empty spaces there, because we have a kick on one here, we have a snare on the next, on the next uh, beat, so just fill it in. But this time, let's do two. We have that kick there. So that's taking up the, see, this space. Uh, now we have the whole thing empty. Maybe we should leave that silence, just, you know, just because. And then let's do two. So here's our pattern. Three, two, blank, two. Let's check that out. It's cool. Maybe that'll work better. I just know this because I, you know, I, I can just hear it. That'll work better on the next bar. I'm gonna make a different pattern on this bar to complement. So let me see. Let me see. Maybe let's do this.
I like that actually. And remember the first pattern that I did, which I moved over here? I'm gonna leave that there and it's gonna be a two bar pattern. Let's hear the whole thing. Okay, so even though I have a different kick and drum, kick and snare pattern uh, in the rest of the beat loop, I'm gonna grab this thing and I'm gonna repeat it. Duplicate, Apple D, duplicate, Apple D, duplicate. Make sure it lines up to exactly where it is on the, on the first grouping here. <clears throat> All right, nine bars. Let's hear our hi-hat pattern. My bad, my bad. That was that was eight bars. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate one more time. We don't need this. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. I think that by having these patterns, what happens is that we have a kind of like a more memorable part, or at least like a catchier part, like something symmetric about it, just like grooves. Does that make sense? Cool. The next thing I'm going to do is put some of those trap elements. So like for example, so I'm going to let the kind of the two first bar, the first two bars kind of, you know, happen by themselves. So let me just work on bar three and I'm going to go one bar at a time and just kind of replace the parts that I have with uh, subdivisions. So for instance, here I could do this and just audition it. Maybe this time I'll make it longer so it just kind of... You see? So it's like a little variation. I like that. I changed the, the you know, the pattern a little bit, but it's fine. It, the, the core of it is still there. Maybe here, I'll do a triplet. I think that's a little bit too aggressive too early on, so maybe this kind of I think that's better. Let's see. Nah, it's fine. You don't want to do too much of this. I mean, you can, but I, I don't like doing too much of it. It's got to be special. Let's try something crazy here. Get rid of the triplet and... Eh, I'm gonna leave it as is. I should follow my own advice of not doing too much. Next bar. Let's go into the uh, craziness here. Let's see. I like that. Next bar. Maybe leave, leave this one as is. Eh. Nah, why, why would I do that? Okay, we'll see. We'll see if it works. Uh, here, let's go back to some triplets. Thirty-second triplets. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we must try. That's a little bit aggressive, I think. Maybe sixteen notes triplets. Sixteen note triplets. Huh. Let's try something. 
I like that actually. Uh, moving on, next bar. Let me set up that, that little drum fill with like a little ornament. Maybe something like this. All right, so see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of, just by ear, you know. Okay, that, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, bore you guys to death. So let's check out the whole thing. I think it's pretty interesting. I mean, we would have to hear it with vocals and all, and then tweak that. Uh, you know, maybe it's a little busy at times. Maybe that would work in some parts. And you would have to work with the song. I think it's cool, though. I mean, you can then layer stuff. I don't know. Yeah, right. Not there. But uh, I don't know. Maybe like on the, the quarter notes. Let's see if that works. Come on, dude. Get it right. Time's running out. All right. change that sound. The sound. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, th this stuff takes time. Uh, that's all for today. I just wanted to share this. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, leave me a comment. Subscribe to my blog. Uh, I'm going to be doing this every day. I just want to learn more about music production and share it with you guys. So, yeah, have a great weekend. It is the weekend right now. It's Friday afternoon, and I'm out of here. Why am I still talking? All right, later. <laughs>